Hi guys, I have another handbag here to um, show you. I just received this in the mail today and this is part of my um, vintage um, um, handbag um, uh, buying spree <laughs> and um, as I've mentioned in the previous video um, I have more to come. Vintage handbags are really really beautiful. They are um, a work of art and um, it exudes um, they exude you know beauty um, superb craftsmanship and um, I can just go on and on you know, I can't get enough of, you know, <laughs> talking about vintage handbags, how I love the hardware, the uh, materials that they use, and um, the, but most vintage bags are very, very sturdy, I would say, you know, you could, um, you could classify and you could um, tell a vintage bag outright by its, you know, structure, if it's uh, like, um, a rectangular or a square or anything that exudes you know a vintage feel um, you would know that right away and of course once you open it you would know it <laughs> so um, I would say this is an authentic an authentic um, exotic skin uh, reptile skin I'm not sure if it's alligator or um, or a crocodile I think it's an alligator alligator but it does show some um, some crocodile skin, but uh, okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. This is a, a genuine reptile skin. Okay, so this is from a handbag company called Lesco, and I have just uh, researched the um, history of this handbag. It was introduced in the 1940s, and they stopped um, making um, handbags in the 1970s and mind you they they um, actually um, specialize in classic handbags made of exotic skin so alligators crocodiles lizards and I've also seen some other uh, materials used like uh, rattan or straw and I think some like velvet or carpet but anyway I wasn't even, you know, sure of, I've never heard of this handbag before, um, Lesco, and apparently uh, it fused with another um, handbag company called um, Lana, so some of them would be Lesco-Lena or whatever, but this one is just Lesco, so I suppose this is original, this is the original, and uh, you can see that it was between 1940s and 1970s, and they were sold only in upper high scale luxury department stores like Bonwood Teller, um, Arnold Constable. Uh, I have one of those handbags from Arnold Constable, Saks Fifth. And later on in the 1960s, in 1961, they started um, uh, selling their handbags at Bloomingdale's. So all the upper or you know more upscale stores. Okay, so do I sound so repetitive? I'm very, very sorry. Okay, so when I bought this handbag, handbag, I wasn't expecting it to be um, a genuine, um, because I'm, I'm, I may have a lot of handbags, but to this day, I still could not um, tell from a distance, from the pictures alone, if it's a real one. I did not pay a lot for this, so I think. Um, I got a good deal <laughs> and but I just sometimes you know I, I buy bags for you know when I see it oh I like it oh it's die for oh I'm I'm gonna have that it's nice to look at I'm gonna display it in my cabinet so that's just how I see it and sometimes you know there could be um, other vintage functional bags but mostly when I buy my vintage bags 95% of my vintage bags are unused 99% I think I've only used one or two or three of them and um yeah that's it just to go to church for for an hour or two and yeah so going back to this handbag so when i saw it online i was like wow because the the, the, the listing was retro okay retro so i was like is this inspired i wasn't sure if it because it says retro could be could be is it inspired but anyway the pictures were 
um, in the natural sunlight, um, the, the cellar was outside and, you know, I was like, wow, it, it has this glossy effect. It's like a patent leather. It could be croc embossed. You know, I really don't care if it's croc embossed as long as it's leather and not, uh, <laughs> not, uh, not vinyl or something. But anyway, when I saw these, the, these unusual scales, I was like, hmm, maybe that's real. Anyway, I'm buying it because of the structure. And the length was not even mentioned, but because of the pictures, I could, you know, pick, uh, I could imagine it to be longer than the usual, um, um, usual uh, vintage uh, alligator size like this square. This is tiny, and this is vintage alligator reptile genuine leather from from Arnold Constable. So I'm like, I'm just showing you. So I'm like, okay, I could use that, and. Um, yeah, because I'm actually using this too. This is from another high-end company called um, Lucille de Paris. And I thought this was a lizard, lizard um, skin, only to find out it's actually an alligator. So, yeah, because you could see the back here. Um, I don't know what kind of alligator. This is one of my favorites. Okay, anyway, moving on to the real deal. Okay. I mean, those are real alligators, but, you know, so I don't get sidetracked. I'm sorry because when I, uh, I do talk a lot, I'm very, very sorry. Sometimes I'm very, very charming. Sometimes I don't get to the point, and I think that irritates other viewers, but, um, you know, just bear with me. Uh, <laughs> okay, so here it is. When I, I saw it, I opened it, I was like, wow, 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 wee, wow. I didn't expect it to be this um mint it's actually in excellent to mint condition except for um for this um um there's just a tiny um thing here it's like split here but i could um go to um it's like cracking here but they could cover that up it's it's very very minor flaw but anyway i wish the front and back were the same with the smaller scales because I, I hate the bigger scales, guys. I hate the bigger scales. I went to the mall earlier and just saw some Brahmin bags. I hate those crocodile-looking bags. They're just so fakey-fakey, and I don't like it. It's like, um, it's just, it just looks tacky, and it's like the pores. It's like, it's just not right, but I do have Brahmin handbags, and... Um, mind you the quality is there but it's just that when you see a lot of um um not genuine but you know for alligator handbags it's just like mm, mm, it's not right anyway i wish the back was this it were you know the I love the square, the square, small uh, patterns here. It's irregular, so you can just see that it's really, really um, a genuine um, handbag and a uh, reptile bag. And this one is the bag. It's bigger. That's why I don't like it because it's bigger and I want the smaller ones like the crocodile. Anyway, um, and this is the thingy and the sides i'm sure i'm focusing it because i can't see the camera here guys i can't see i guess so and um yeah and yeah it has four uh, brass fit uh feet studs so i would say the only um flaws flaws would be just some dots but i think the and some uh, things on the edges here. <clears throat> I'm afraid to coat this with <coughs> my regular shoe polish because this is an exotic skin. So I'm not going to even go there. <laughs> okay, because there's a special um, treatment or dye for, for these um, for these handbags. Anyway, okay, so it's very, very classic. It's very, very simple. And that's it. Um, this one... You just, oh, you just open that. It, it, it just opens it. Opens like that. It's so simple. And when, when, when I saw the bag, it was like, I was very, very excited. Because I wasn't expecting it to be, you know, real. But of course, you see that the, the interior, guys, it's just amazing. In amazing conditions. Like, it has never been used. 
it's like a grandma just used this once or twice and then kept it for the for um for her granddaughters or maybe it's an heirloom or something and yeah look at that it has one zipper mm, it's not even the zipper it it's very very clean guys it's very very clean and look at that the interior is very thick smooth leather and um because the seller did not uh put the name she says vintage retro handbag so i'm like okay crocodile embossed something like that so she wasn't even sure she didn't even know i guess what she was selling and um and uh, this one uh, there you go okay just a minute guys i have to open my son okay. yes Okay, quiet. Did you get your thing? Quiet, I'm, I'm doing a video. Okay, sorry for the interruption, guys. Okay, so here it is. It has a very, very thick, smooth, cream leather lining. And the, and the thing is there. Put your bag where it's supposed to go. This one is like, it looks like a cat. Oh, no, no, it's not a cat. It's it's something else. I'm not sure if you can see that, guys. Oh, anyway, this is just in perfect, perfect condition. And I've noticed that the, that the interior of these bags tend to have like a very light uh, leather smooth lining. Like um, this one. I got this. It's um, this one. It even has a price tag. Guys, this smells of. It doesn't smell as bad anymore. This was priced at eight dollars and ninety. Um, twenty. It used to be twenty five dollars. Arnold Constable, plus tax. It was when probably in the nineteen what. This was the very first of uh, Saks. Their very very first um Saks Fifth. It was. It's the oldest. Very very old um a uh, luxury um department store so look at that and of uh, this is genuine alligator as well and i also have but my favorite is this one but i wish it was it they're all in the chocolate or espresso color and this one guys it's this is um uh, how do you call it? This is um, lizard. Why do I keep saying lizard? It's still an alligator, but I've been using this, guys. It, it does hold my water bottle. And look at that, Lucille de Paris. It, it was from the 6th, Saks Fifth Avenue. And I've made um, a video on this one, a review. It's such an heirloom, guys. It's such a beautiful, beautiful handbag. So these are my... Um, well, it's very, very hard to pick a favorite uh, vintage handbag for me. Um, I do have a lot, guys, and I've sold almost all my designer handbags to the real, real. And um, my collection is more on um, the vintage handbags. They're just so pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, there you go, guys. And I do thank some of you for your um, comments that I have inspired some of you to go get, you know, yourself some vintage bags. <laughs> so I'm an, not an expert, but, you know, it's just nice to, um, to, to know these things. Uh, we're very thankful we have Google. So, um, yeah. So there you go. Okay. Bye.